Hello everybody and welcome to Hello Good Boy. This is a game I've had on my wish list for a while and I finally was able to grab it and I'm very excited to play it. I always love checking out new games on the channel, so let's just hop right into it. New game. In the end, all that's left of us is a memory. A story to last forever. Everything's dark. It's almost midnight. Finally, you made it home. It was a rough day, but eventually it went well. You're getting ready to sleep. After putting on your pajamas, you lie on your bed and drift off to sleep. Your last thought is... What comes after? Time passed. You don't know how long. Whoa! You're certain you're awake. You don't know where you are, but it feels familiar. I'm here! Hello, good kid. Before you ask why there's a dog that can speak, I can explain. You wait for the explanation. Actually, I can't speak human language. Oh, so do I know dog? But humans understand what I say. Makes sense. Before you ask where we are, WTK. Welcome to Kurudo. Now you know this place is called Kurudo. And what's your name? Say your name or say someone else's name. Hmm. Well, this dog seems like an honest sort, so I'm gonna say my name. Suddenly, you can't recall your name. Oh no! No matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to remember. All right then. I will call you Eco. You don't know who Eco is. But for some reason, you accept it. I mean, what can you do in this situation? Eco, do you know my name? Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, I knew it. Let me introduce myself in that case. Actually, I don't have a name. But they call me Coco. Who's they? Now you know the dog's name is Coco. But you also know they are watching you. I was a wolf once. But now I am a good dog. Yes, you are. You don't know yet, but what he said will be very important later. I will remember that. Anyway, I will accompany you through your journey in Kurudo. So let's just get started. I will explain the details along the way. Alright. Whoa! You are shocked. But try to stay calm. Oh, we're leaving the purple void? But I like the purple void. Then let's get started, Eco. You don't know what's about to start. You don't know what's going to happen next. Halt and doubt or reassure yourself. I want to reassure myself. I'm brave. Having doubts while confronting an uncertainty is reasonable. You take a long, deep, calming breath. And it makes you feel better. Alright, I'm ready, I'm ready. Coco trots enthusiastically, and it reassures you. Oh, oh, boop. My turn to go through the Tesseract portal. Ooh, here we are, Eco. This is the Grand Hall of Karuto. A beginning, the starting ground, the ground zero. This grand hall is where we start our journey in Kurudo. The lighting is dim, yet smooth, supported by glowing runes on the wall. Whatever it is, this place makes you feel warm. Eco, our journey in Kurudo will be challenging. Even though you're a good kid, you still need some preparation for the journey. So, I will provide supplies. Oh, do you have a doggy backpack? Those are so cute. Oh, it's an hourglass! This is a magic hourglass. The magic hourglass will mark our journey. 
It will end when all the sand finishes flowing down. You obtain the magic hourglass. You feel its magic and notice its importance for this journey right away. Ooh! This is a magic toolbox. It's a toolbox with magical powers, I guess that. Even if you don't have any repairing skills, you'll still be able to use these tools. Ooh! Handy Manny up in here. You obtain the magic toolbox. You're not sure how to use it, but now you're confident you can repair anything. Woof! There's more! One more thing, also very important. So, Eco, our journey will be full of choices. And as a good guide, I have prepared a warm-up for you. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Please choose one. Hmm. You examine your choices. Those four drinks are all different, and you're not sure what they are. The spicy drink, the boxed beverage, the fidget drink, water with leaves. Fidget drink, fizzy drink. That is not a fidget spinner drink. That would probably not taste good. I mean, I do like apple juice, but I also like Dr. Pepper, so it's kind of a tough one. Hmm. You know what? Let's be healthy and take the apple juice, although it's probably just carbonated sugar. Well, not carbonated sugar. It's probably just frozen apples. You can already feel how refreshing it is just by imagining the way it can quench your thirst. I got apple juice. An interesting choice, Eco. I hope you won't regret it. Well, now when you say something like that, now I am worried. I'm scared now. Imagine if you were like, oh yeah, I think I'm gonna get... You, you like go to a restaurant and then you're like, I think I'm gonna get the Caesar salad. And then the waiter goes, that's an interesting choice. I hope you don't regret it. And, like, what do you mean? You know, regretting things that already happened is useless. Don't buy the Caesar salad. Hmm, there are leftovers. Because I don't want these to be wasted. And because you're a good kid, I'll give you the rest too as extra supplies. Aw, thank you. Show that you're confused. Or thank Coco. I am a little confused. No need to be confused. Oh, okay, never mind then. I just want Eco to be happy. Aw, you are a good boy. You obtain the soft drink. You feel bubbly and lively as you notice the sparkles inside the bottle. You obtained a mint tea. You feel relaxed and relieved as you smell its peppermint aroma. You obtained a warm ginger honey lemon. Your muscles are relaxed and you feel healed as you sense its warmth. You are feeling grateful. Yes, good boy. I think that's enough for the warm up. Oh, good boy. All right, we got our supplies. We're ready to face whatever comes next. Oh. Oh, big stretchies. Let's start our journey. Where are we going? What? Whoa, I almost forgot. One more thing. Give me a hug. Oh, yes. I'm going to give you a belly rub. Yes! Oh, good boy. Good boy. Woof, my supplies are recharged too. And remember, you can pet me anytime throughout the journey. Your pets are always welcome, and I'll receive them happily. Let's go. Good doggo. It's time to start our adventure. It's already an adventure when you have a good doggo. This hallway is the essence of a journey we have to go through. In this hallway, there are four magical doors. I only see three. Every door will take us to another world. Behind each door, there will be an unimaginable experience. And we will never know whether it's going to be a good or a bad experience. Whatever it is, going through any of the doors is a good choice. What if I don't go through any door? Oh! As far as you can see, this hallway seems endless. It's kind of dark and you're a little bit confused. Receiving a lot of new information makes you feel curious and overwhelmed. And it seems like Coco realizes that. Oof, don't worry. If there's anything you'd like to know, just ask me. As a good guide, I will always help you, Eco. You are a good guide. Let's go now, for real. I'm ready, I'm ready. Hoo, 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 hoo. Hmm, what is, what's, I'm gonna look at all of this. Hang on, I need to know the buttons. Oh, Summer Story. Um, spring, autumn, winter badges. Oh, and I've got my bag with my stuff. Uh, and then E. Oh, it's to talk to Coco. Woof, what's up? Talk to Coco. 
Wolf? Um. Oh, I see. These are to learn more stuff. Alright, um. Uh, no more questions for now. Eco, I understand if you feel like everything is overwhelming. It's fine to feel that way. But don't worry, we will get more answers as we go along. Woof! Somehow you feel relieved when you hear Coco's answers. Even though you don't have all the answers yet, you think Coco is somehow right. You feel eager to start your journey. Alright, well, let's go then. Ooh! What's that? You see picture frames with silhouettes in it. You're not sure what those silhouettes are. Well, that one looks like a porcupine. But I don't know. Look at this door. Hmm. Oh! Woof! Look! What a bright and beautiful door! You feel playful, and a warm wind blows gently on your face. You are curious about what's behind that door. Woof! Whatever you decide, you won't get the same chance ever again. You're aware that this choice will determine your future. So, Eco, do you want to go through this door or not? Ooh, um, oh, um... Why not? Go through the door! Oh my goodness! Uh-oh. I've made a choice! Woof! Look! The sand in the magic hourglass is running out! Oh, that's traumatizing! That means Eco has used one chance to make a major decision. Oh no! Woof! Let's go, Eco. As you see Coco's tail wagging, you feel like you're ready for whatever may come. Alright then. I'm ready, I think. Kind of. Maybe a little bit. The hourglass. Oh no. Uh-oh. Oh, poor kiddo. Whoa, where are we? Look at this place. You and Coco appear somewhere in the countryside. The smell of grass in the sun gives you a sensation you rarely find. Woof! Yay, we appeared here! This is my favorite place in Karudo. You can understand why Coco loves this place. Oh, I bet. Look at this place. There's so many places to run around and roll in the dirt and just have a good time. Ooh! The hills are alive with the sound of music. Clear blue sky, green glass, direct sunlight, and fresh air. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed this kind of vibe. You also feel happy to enjoy this wonderful atmosphere. Have you ever been to a place like this, Eco? Um... I don't... Hmm... In real life? Yeah, I have. Of course. Wow, you must be feeling nostalgic right now. Let's have fun on this journey together! I hope it can give you a similarly amusing experience. Oh, big stretchies! <laughs> oh, I love the big stretches. Let's keep an eye out for anything to look at. Oh! You feel intrigued by the creature that's sitting under the tree. Yet those spikes somehow scare you. Oh, there's nothing to be afraid of as long as we're nice. Look, Eco! I think we've met a new friend! Do you want to say hi? Uh, it doesn't seem friendly. No, he just seems a little nervous. Maybe he looked sad. Let's, I'm curious. Let's say hi. Same here. Let's go. Woof. Hello there. How are you? You feel his gloomy aura and his eyes seem watery. Woof. Hello there. General Kenobi. Oh. Sorry, I won't make Star Wars references anymore. Coco sniffs around curiously. Coco, be careful! Oh! But it seems like his instincts told him to be careful of the spikes on the porcupine's back. What's your name? Just call me Porcupine. <laughs> Woof! Good day, Porcupine. Why do you look so sad? Why are you asking? Uh, maybe you'll feel better by letting it out. Oh, and because I care. Yes, Coco's a good doggo. You are also worried about the porcupine. No, it's dumb. Letting out your feelings is never dumb. You gotta express yourself. Bottling it up won't help. Come on, porcupine. 
If you don't want to tell us, it's okay. We're just trying to help you feel better. Well, should we continue our journey, Yuko? Mm, wait a minute. You're that curious, huh? Fine, I'll tell you. I'm sad because... I want to be hugged. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> there, I said it. Now you know why the porcupine is sad. Woof. You didn't have to be so embarrassed about it. Unfortunately, I can't help. I cannot provide you with a hug. You can see I have no arms, just four legs. Eco, do you want to try? I will hug the porcupine. Everyone deserves hugs. Here, let's try. Oh! Dang it. As you thought, it's impossible to hug him. No! It stings when the spikes touch your skin. Woof! Eco, are you okay? I am. Oh no! No! It happened again! You're fine, but you feel bad for the porcupine. He saw a small ray of hope, and you can see happiness peeking through his eyes. You're sure he feels even sadder and disappointed now. Well then, we're so sorry, porcupine. No worries. Somehow I feel relieved after I said it. And I'm glad you two didn't laugh at me. At least I'm feeling better now. Glad to hear that. I hope you'll get a hug soon. Yeah... Thanks for trying, though. Now we must continue our journey. It was nice meeting you, Porcupine. Same here. You just wish there was a way to help him. Maybe there is. Maybe we could find someone to hug the Porcupine. I would like to help the Porcupine. Oh, whoa! Hmm. What's up? Um... I want to play with you. Woof! Ear rub. Oh, yes! Oh, that feels so good. And a belly rub. You get spoiled today. Good, doggy. Alright, we could go now. <laughs> oh, I see it's your. Oh! Woof, what's up? Oh, no, sorry, sorry. I was trying to look at the scenery. I forgot it's space bar. Aww! That's pretty! Just enjoying the view. That was nice. Hmm. Oh? Uh, what is that? What is that? What's going on? You're starting to feel an uncomfortable atmosphere. You feel unsettled and your passion is suddenly slipping away. Coco? Listen here, good kid. Those things... The dark liquid-like things are called black quid. Now you know those things are called black quid. You assume it's a wordplay of black and liquid. It's something bad that ruins people's joy. I'm not sure why it's already here. So you knew about it before? Where is it now? What's it? Oh no! You can hear Coco bumbling. You feel he's very concerned. I want to know more. What's going on? Listen, Nico. I think it will be overwhelming for now. Don't worry, I promise I'll explain when the time comes. But of course, I will give you a hint on how to make it disappear. I will only say it once. Except if Nico wants me to repeat it. Of course, the only way to remove Blackwood is to rearrange and mend everything it has ruined. Alright, I understand. Now you know you must fix everything the Blackwood is broken to get rid of it. That's probably what the toolbox is for. Yes, that's the only way. Of course, it's not an easy thing to do. Unpleasant, even. Especially because of the uncomfortable feeling you get around Blackwood. But it's better to get rid of it. You feel a weirdly unpleasant feeling, as Coco said. But I'm sure that Ego can do it. And don't forget, I will always be by your side. Woof! Seeing Coco's wagging tail, your spirit has been lifted. Alright, let's do it then. Let's see what how to fix this. Hmm. Oop, I did the thing again. Sorry, <laughs> I keep doing that. Alright, there we go. The traffic cone fell over. Even though I have no idea why there's a traffic cone here. But let's fix it, Eco. Would you like to fix it? Put the traffic cone back. We will fix it. Whoop! Whoa! 
I absorbed it. Traffic. Great. Even doing nice, simple things makes me happy. And her dog is already looking nicer. The black wood around the cone disappears once it's fixed. You're feeling more comfortable now. There we go. Alright, what's going on over here? Ooh, a pole. It's a utility pole. Huh. Interesting. Hmm, how do we fix this? Yes, we have to first fix this trash bin before cleaning the trash. Ah! Let's do it, Eco. Would you like to fix it? Yes! We will be nice and fix everything. I absorb the liquid. The blackwood. Soon we will have enough blackwood to make a beautiful ink drawing. Good job! Now we can clean the scattered trash. The blackwood around the trash bin disappeared. You're eager to clean the trash. Alright, let's take care of this then. Whoop. Whoop. Clean the trash. No littering on my watch. I don't have a watch, but... I do have glowing blue spears. I like absorbing them. Yay, we finished cleaning up! The blackwood in the surrounding area disappears. Seeing that everything is now clean and organized makes you feel somehow pristine. We did it! <laughs> Hooray, splendid! All of the blackwood is gone. It wasn't easy, but you did it, Eco. You're happy you did it, and the blackwood is no more. You're also relieved because that unpleasant feeling is gone. Let's continue our journey then. Yes! Where do you go from here? Oh no! Stop it! <laughs> bad. Apparently, there are still a lot of people who send physical mail in this place. This broken mailbox will hinder their communication with their loved ones. The recipients must be waiting for their letters by now. Would you like to repair it? Let's try. Woof! I believe in you, Eco. My toolbox! Hammer. Oh! Quick time event. I got it. Solid! Liquid, gas, you got this. I do, thank you. I did it! Oh, oh, that wasn't good. Oh, I see. All right, there we go. How cool, I like this mini game. Wonderful. It feels like you're actually like, instead of just pressing a button, you have to put effort into fixing this stuff. I like it, I like it. I did good, you did it! I am a good kid. Mr. Postman and the let mailers will thank you. Whoa, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. You can't remember the last time you received a physical mail, but you remember how delightful it is to receive mail from a close friend. Yeah! We did it. Can I... Do I have mail? You wonder what kind of mail people send nowadays. Do people still send love letters? Oh, maybe. Oh, no! It's a utility pole. Another one, but we just passed one. Hmm. Even the road sign is damaged. Would you like to repair it? Yes, definitely. Yay! You can do it, Eco. My toolbox. Bob the Builder. Can we fix it? Ooh, that one was really good. Let's go, Eco! More repairs. This place is already shaping up to be beautiful. Cool, people will be so grateful. If there are any cars, do people still drive cars in this world? They can drive safely now. You are a good kid, and you are a good dog. You know what, just for that, you deserve an ear rub. No, you know what, not an ear rub, a belly rub. You can't give a, me a button to pet the dog in this game and not expect me to use it all the time. Look at that, good boy. All right. Where to now? Oh! Oh no, they can't cross the road! Woof! Cluck? Honk, honk! Woof! <laughs> cluck, cluck, cluck! You don't understand what they're saying. Mr. Goose and Mrs. Hen seem to be in trouble. The traffic light is never turning green, and they have been waiting for a long time. Oh, but ne then we'll never know why the chicken crossed the road. They wait because they are good birds. Jaywalking is prohibited by the law. Oh, I think someone or something broke it, Eco. 
You can- can you fix it so they can go across the road? They just have to wait longer- no, I'll do it! I am a public service worker. I have learned electricity. Oh, I really have learned electricity! Okay, let's see. Oh, oh, and I can rotate them. Hmm. Alright, I don't think it's this one. We need one with purple and yellow. Or maybe we don't. Here, let's see about, uh... Whoop. All right. And I think... No, that is not right. Hmm. No. Maybe this one? Oh, but that doesn't have a blue. Hmm. Oh, this one does. There we go, that's a good one. Okay, and then I believe that goes right there. Hmm. Boop 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 da 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 There we go. The wires are fixed. You just got your electrician's license! I can now hotwire cars. Oh, thank you. Soon I will have enough power to create a spirit bomb. Great job. Honk. Cluck. Cluck? Honk. Cluck. Mr. Goose and Mrs. Hen said thank you. You're welcome anytime. If you need me to hotwire a car, just let me know. I fixed the street sign too, so they can't catch us with that afterwards. Honk, honk. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Oh, stomp, stomp, stomp. Bye, Mr. Goose. Bye, Mrs. Hen. You feel amused seeing them. And now you're curious why the goose and the hen cross the road. I'm gonna ask Coco. Is it to get to the other side? Woof. To get to the other side, Eco. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Alright, well, on that amusing note, I think we will end it here for now. I know there's probably more going on and more that we can explore, but I am running short on time, and I really wanted to start this game, and once we started, I just couldn't stop. I'm having a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see more, and I hope you guys want to see more of this, too. It's such an adorable game already, and I really like the repairing mini games. They're a lot more detailed than I was expecting. I really like it. So until then, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourself. Remember that this is a utility poll, and have a good day. Day.